mine. I'm gonna to prepare today for you my most favorite item. It's so easy and I love making it for my friends because it's that easy. Here we have wild caught salmon. I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper because it's my go-to ingredient. It's easy, I like garlic, I like salt, I like pepper, okay? One-stop shop kind of a item, recipe. I have some sunflower oil, which has a higher heating index than olive oil. I normally cook with olive oil, but sunflower oil is good for you too. So cover your pan with some oil and then for flavor, and this is optional. I just like more flavor. Butter is always better for me. Take it a little bit carefully. You want to make sure that my pan is not stuck to the pan. You want to make sure your pan is up and through because once this is almost done, we're going to finish it under the broiler. My favorite part is just throw in the broiler, shut the door for a few minutes, come out, and it's done. That's how easy it is. So once it's jingling, that means that it's formed a nice crust on the bottom. If you get a close-up right here, you can see that's still a nice wear. I don't want to cook my salmon so well done. And this is wild caught, so you want to make sure you take good care of your salmon. Alright, I'm going to flip it now. That nice crust. Beautiful. Okay. So here I have my organic strawberry jam and balsamic glaze that's been reduced. Oh, the glaze is already reduced. I just mixed it together. There's two ingredients strawberry jam. And balsamic glaze. I'm going to brush the top. Be careful because there's liquid in the jam, and once it touches the pan, oil and water do not mix. It might splatter. That's the only risk you have to worry about. But because there's natural sugars in the strawberry jam, it's going to create a nice caramelized texture on top. Ooh, there you go. See? Oh, that one. Alright, this one's my favorite part. Throw in the oven. Top broiler. That's it. Turn off the heat. I'm going to wait three minutes because I like mine a medium rare. While I'm waiting, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start plating. That's how it is. I'm already plating. I'm going to take some of my size that I made. You'll find this in the next video. This is uh, sweet potato hash with organic potatoes, some Yukon goals. A little bit of paprika, nutmeg, nice brunch. You know, you get some vitamins with your salmon. And also garnish with some strawberries to remind people that there are strawberry glaze on top of salmon. Plus it is breakfast, you want to have some kind of fruits. I like to cook for my friends, so it comes easy. They can do dishes. So it's been three minutes, let's take the salmon out, okay? Careful, that pan is very hot. And your broiler's been on, so be careful. Make sure everyone is out of the way. There's my salmon glaze, or strawberry glaze and salmon. Turn the oven off. It's ready to plate. Pan is still hot. Do not make the same mistake I do and grab the pan, okay? Make sure you're protected. The skin is nice and crispy. How easy is that? Skin's on the bottom. Some people, like myself, like to eat the skin. And this is for lunch tomorrow. For an extra friend. Put the pan away. And you're done. Time to eat. Hey, welcome back. I just got done eating that spectacular meal. It was so good. I had to go to the gym, take a shower, and come back. I uh, wanted to let you know that other than my name being Mai, I'm 29 years old from Dallas, Texas. I have a fraternal twin sister who doesn't cook. We're direct opposites, but we've both worked in the kitchen together at my mom's house. Um, we're both Vietnamese, and so I was the sous chef, and not by choice either, but I think that really cultivated my desire to want to be in the kitchen more is very family oriented and I just enjoy cooking and my sister doesn't but I guess that's the difference between being twins. Um, 
I am very competitive with my sister and also my friends. They don't know it yet, but I always, in the back of my mind, kind of compete with who makes the better dessert or who makes the better entree. Um, I have fantastic knife skills. For someone that's never had any culinary experience before, watching the Food Network is the only culinary experience I have. And with a knife skill, I can chop pretty fast, and I think it kind of stems from helping my mom chopped green onions over and over and over and over again because we would use green onions to garnish a lot of the Vietnamese dishes and so I would, she would have me thinly chop them and eventually I just learned over the years how to hold my finger, how to hold the knife and eventually just become really efficient at using the knife and my favorite knife is the chef knife. Um, so I love cooking. My husband is, he tells me every day how blessed he is by my cooking. Um, and I love to gift him with that talent. So I don't really cook with recipes. I just cook with from the heart, whatever I feel like doing. I can never, almost never, recreate the same delicious recipe because it always changes. It's a challenge for me to follow a recipe, but when I do, you know, I always tweak it up the next time or the time after that. So I love cooking for my family, my friends. I'm a big hostess. I love to serve and, and have friends over for dinner. Um, now, if I win with $50,000, man, that would change so much. Um, we would definitely have a house with a bigger kitchen. The kitchen is, uh, it's, it's nice, but it could be bigger since I like to entertain. Um, I always make a mess because it's so small, you know, counter space is very limited. The island is helpful, but I could definitely use some more space so I can have more area, sitting area for my son because he loves to be in the kitchen with me um, and help me cook easiest thing to do is eggs and he loves breaking the eggs and beating the eggs but definitely a bigger kitchen that's what I would do um, if I that's what I would buy if I had a fifty thousand dollar grand prize and maybe one day go to culinary school I think uh, I can learn a lot and benefit a lot and my ultimate dream goal is to open up a fitness retreat and help people learn how to cook and also better themselves physically through being active um, combating obesity and eating healthy, which is a lifestyle, not just a diet program. So Food Network, I hope you choose me. I have a big passion for helping people and for cooking, which is a natural innate talent that my mom gave me. Thank you.